nuclear force is the force between two nucleons inside the nucleus inside the nucleus there are protons and neutrons all these particles known as nucleons they exert force on each other the nature of this force is given by a graph of potential energy between them potential energy why potential energy the answer is if there is a force of attraction then we know the potential energy is negative and when there is a force of repulsion then potential energy is positive this we have learnt in the uh, okay in potential energy chapter now we have made a graph of potential energy and r this graph was made for potential energy by various experiments which were done in atomic field during the year 1930 to 1950 many experiments were done and some you have seen that rutherford experiment and after that after that many experiments were done to find out the nuclear energy between nucleons and it is found that it changes with the distance between the two nucleons the distance between the two nucleons center to center we find that when this distance is nearly 0.8 fermi then the attraction is maximum and the potential energy is negative and it has this maximum negative value when r the distance is r not now what happens when the distance is increased when the distance is increased still potential energy is negative 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 this shows that there is still a force of attraction between them but the energy decrease a lot and this even this will go like this this that means the moment it cross this distance more than 2 fermi this this the force of attraction has become very very less or the energy has become very less this happens now if we compress them and this distance become less what will happen if this distance become less the energy become positive and positive energy shows what the force of repulsion so if the distance become less the force is repulsion if the distance increase a little up to 2 the force is all attraction but if the distance is more than that the force become almost zero there is no force so we can say nuclear force is a very short range force only say this much it plays from 0 to 0 within 2 fermi that's all that is why it is known as short range force now this nucleus to nucleus force the nature of force this force is a very strong force compared to coulomb's force so this nuclear force is very large compared to coulomb's force that is 10 times larger than coulomb's force but at the same time it is a very short range force it falls rapidly with the distance if the distance increase the force decreases a lot there is a lot of fall and if this distance is more the force is almost zero but in coulombs we see the force is inversely proportional to square of the distance here it is much much larger than that we do not give any commitment how much it is but it is changing and it is changing very sharply a small change in r will decrease the force very less now this force is it different for proton to neutron 
proton to proton or neutron to neutron? Answer no. This force is same whether the two particles are having zero charge, positive charge or plus and zero charge. Does not matter. That is why it is a different type of force. We have studied so far gravitational force is one type of force in which masses are required. The other one is electric charge force in which charges are required, electrostatic force. In nucleus, what happens? It is within the nucleus and one has to be a nucleon. And this force is such a large force that Coulomb's force and gravitational force, both are negligible before them. But only thing is, it is exerted when they are very close to each other. 0.8 Fermi of this much. Then only this is applicable and it is applicable up to 1 Fermi, 1.5 Fermi. But when it becomes more than 2 Fermi, it becomes almost 0. So this is nuclear force. Why this force was uh, significant? This force is significant because otherwise we cannot explain that why a proton and another proton should be together in a nucleus. We know that there is a very strong repulsive force between the two protons. Now, we have not seen any nucleus which has got only two protons. The smallest nucleus we see with two protons is helium which has got two neutron also. So, we can think that there are two neutrons also. There is no repulsion between them, neutrons. Now, there is a force of attraction, nuclear force, nuclear force, nuclear force, nuclear force and nuclear force. All these forces are much stronger than repulsive force of Coulomb's force. So, now you see there are forces of attraction which are much much larger than a single force of repulsion. We can go for higher one like carbon. Carbon has got six proton. One, two, three, four, five, six. There will be lot of force of repulsion but they have six neutron also. Neutron. Now every pair these two pairs attraction, 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 attraction. And all so many attraction are there because attraction that is nuclear force attraction is in neutron to neutron, neutron to proton and proton to proton. So there is a presence of so many attractive forces that the Coulomb's force of repulsion become weak, there are more attractive forces, so they remain one nucleus. So this is, this gives stability to the nucleus. But another thing, if it grows larger, 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 what happens? If it becomes very large like this, Now, this and this, the distance is, this is plus, this is plus, they will have a force of repulsion that F is proportionate to 1 upon R square, R is quite large, so this force of repulsion will be less, but there will be repulsion. Now, what about force of attraction, which is nuclear, nuclear force. If the distance is more than 2 Fermi, 3 Fermi, nuclear force is 0, no force, very less force. So when the size increase, then nuclear force become weak, weaker, 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 it has become weaker than the electrical force. If it has become weaker than the electrical force and electrical force is repelling, then who becomes the prominent? Now repulsion is prominent and this will break. This will break and this will be ejected out. This jump out. 
because it is rejected from the nucleus. This happens. So, there is a limitation of this phenomena that nuclear force bind them together. It do bind them together against the repulsive force of protons, but the size limited. When the size become large, Coulomb force become little weak, but nuclear force become very weak. Therefore, Coulomb force eject out the positive. We call that phenomena as radioactivity. We will come to that in the next chapter. So, this is the limitation of nuclear force and this is the limitation why we do not get very large nucleus. In our nature, the largest nucleus we get is U238. And if the particles are more than 238, then number of protons will increase and they will be so many that repulsion force will be very large, larger than nuclear force of attraction. And in that case, it will eject out the protons and bring the size smaller. That is why the size is always limited. It cannot go beyond that. It is a very, very natural phenomena and we are seeing this phenomena in our families. When the families grow, there are branches, there are separate houses and larger the size. It is a natural phenomena that there will be breakage because of its own weight. It happens in gravitation also. We cannot have an object with a very, very large mass. We have Chandrasekhar limit for that. If the mass is beyond that Chandrasekhar limit because of its own gravitational forces in different parts, it separates out, it breaks. Same thing happens here. If the size become very large, the force by proton become very high compared to nuclear force. So this is about the nuclear force, a short range, stronger than Coulomb, but range is short. Thank you.